Welcome everybody, I'm Joe Dettulia from The Game House. Today we'll be going over some Joe Burrow tape from his game against Carolina Panthers last week. The Cincinnati Bengals got their first one of the season against Carolina Panthers this week. We're hoping they can ride the momentum and keep on playing better, but Joe Burrow has played well himself. We're going to take a look at five or six key plays from this game, some good, some not so good, and see what happened on them. Let's get it started in the second quarter. 728 uh, on the clock. This is an empty set. See what he looks at here. He finds Jamar over the middle and really throws with anticipation too to get to that spot. You see Burrow is already looking at him here and he lets it rip right there where there's guys in front of him, but he ends up in this little area right here. And then you have to check out the running catch by Jamar Chase. That's why he drafted them so high. A menace with the ball in his hands, gets all the way downfield, has some helpers blocking down the field. That's what you want to see. We'll take a look at the end zone view as well because it's just it's good to see um, exactly what Burrow is seeing here. So, again, you have Drew Sample here, hoping to pass protect. Works out well. And you see him. This is where Jamar is going to cut. Burrow notices him, needs another second, and throws it right in there after the linebacker is held over here too. Uh, so pretty good throw, pretty good play. And Jamar Chase, I mean, you can't coach that up. That's just running after the catch. A really good play for the Bengals here on the first maybe key play of the game we're going to look at here. The second key play we're going to look at is happening in the 48 seconds left in the second quarter, trying to go down and get some points here. Uh, I like this play specifically. The Bengals have been an offense they haven't used much under center. They haven't used a lot of motion. That seems like it's changing here. They have Jamar come in motion. They have Zach Moss go out. Then he comes back in and goes into more of a pass protecting spot here right behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, I like that because it gives tails on what the defense is doing, and Joe Burrow recognizes that. Look at him. He's, he's pretty much staring T down here. He sees how much cushion, I believe that's J.C. Horn over there, is giving him. Throws it with anticipation, about to be before his cut, and just perfect on the money. Again, simple stuff like that, but he gets the indicators from the from the early motions. We'll take a look from the end zone cam as well. Uh, but really like that type of play call because it's really easy, and Joe Burrow is able to identify what the defense is doing. So again, Jamar Chase going in motion here. See the safeties kind of move uh, both times, and they're communicating pretty well. Um, and Zach Moss goes out and then comes back in. Um, Burrow just lets it rip right on the outside. The third play we're going to look at is directly after that second play we looked at. Second quarter, 43 seconds left to go. Um, need to try to get some points before the half. You see Burrow motion Zach Moss into that pass protecting role, help with some of the pressure there. That ends up being pretty key because you do have guys coming uh, and the line's able to shift over and pick it up. And then he also, there's a lot of talk about cover two in the league. There's a lot of cover two being played. Yeah, there's man coverage on these guys. Uh, but there's two zone safeties over top. Burrow obviously throws it when he sees Yoshivas getting open over the middle. Um, knows he has some space because these safeties are held pretty honest by these guys on the outside. They can't come too far into the center. And Burrow just layers the pass in there. I mean, it's perfect spot. Uh, great accuracy, exactly what you want to see. A uh, good way to beat cover two is having those safeties have to guard things on the outside, having a guy go up the middle. You can kind of attack it in a couple different ways, but this is a really good play to do that. So we'll take a look at the end zone cam here. Like keeping multiple guys in to pass protect on this play. And just perfect throw by Burrow. The fourth play we're going to look at is in the second quarter as well. 14 seconds left, trying to get a touchdown through the air. Now we're going to see Kaseki go out in motion, the linebacker guarding him. And we're going to see a little pick play between him and Jamar Chase. Uh, Kaseki goes under, Jamar goes over. I don't know if they expect Kaseki to be the guy um, setting the pick here. It would seem to be that would be the thing. He's a tight end, you know, freeing up a wide receiver. Uh, but in this case, the pick kind of works backwards, and Jamar kind of picks the linebacker here, and Gusecki's open. Um, Burrow kind of, I don't know, just assumed Chase was going to be open. And he does have some space before Chase falls down, but Gusecki would have been uh, pretty wide open for a touchdown here. Bengals did end up getting a touchdown before the end of the half here on a pass to Zach Moss where he kept his balance and got in the end zone. But this would have been a nice one to have as well. Uh, I'm excited to see... You know what that play call might have been uh, and how that would, should have gone, but uh, pretty easily could have had Gasecki right here, and Chase just falls down, making that an incomplete pass. The next play is in the third quarter with four seconds left. Uh, we're going to see, you know, Zach Moss in that pass protecting spot right behind the line of scrimmage, helping to pick up any pressure. And the pressure is picked up. There's just no one open. You see that there's just nowhere Burrow can go for the ball, so he buys some time, dances around. He still doesn't have a good look at anything there. <laughs> Continues to buy time. I mean, maybe maybe he has. I believe that's Gasicki down here free late, but that's 
I mean, that's, that's, that's a tough throw when you're on the move. So Zach Moss, after being in that pass protecting role, is able to get out here and uh, make a play and get open and release from the line of scrimmage. He finds some nice, easy completion and picks up yards after the catch. Going to go back here to kind of show Zach Moss on this play. I mean, he starts up here behind the center left guard. You know, big block here. He's dancing around, doesn't know what to do with Pro being there and ends up just releasing, being a nice target for him. We'll watch this from the end zone view as well because I'm sure that'll be fun. But, uh, you know, gets out of bounds there. Big gain for him. And this is, you know, the game is still in balance here. So, really important play. Just love to see that Burrow creativity uh, behind the line of scrimmage. So, yeah, Moss starts over here. Big pick up there. That's why he's in the game. <laughs> he just doesn't know what to do. Ends up releasing. And uh, they get some key yards here. So pretty good play from Zach Moss and Joe Burrow on that one. The last play we're going to look at for Joe Burrow is the interception. This happens with like 11 and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. Game's still in the balance. So they obviously want to score some points here. Going empty set. Uh, we're going to see Amarius Mims, the rookie right tackle, kind of give up some pressure here. Loses on the inside. Burrow senses that. Flushes out to the right. Keeps his eyes downfield, kind of steps up in the pocket again, and he sees Jamar Chase down here and thinks he's open, going to keep on running this way. Uh, Jamar thinks differently. Jamar puts his foot on the ground and goes that way, goes to the corner of the end zone, intercepted there. Uh, that's not really on Burrow's fault. I've seen a lot of people blaming Burrow or blaming Chase. It's just miscommunication that happens on broken plays a lot. Um, so it, it kind of stinks that it happened, but the Bengals were able to recover and go win. We're going to take a look at the end zone cam view, which is pretty cool to see Burrow escape this pressure. He's one of my favorite quarterbacks in the league. We're going to try to do this film breakdown every week. Uh, if you like what you see, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, let, you know, let us know what's going on there. For now, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.